Welcome to Creamer Media's Resources Watch, a weekly video roundup of the events and people making and shaping the news in the mining industry. This week, Harmony Gold says South Africa needs to nurture gold mining's future. The NUM resolves to take up the cudgels against Anglo in the silicosis battle. And the DMR says there's an exciting new South African mining era ahead. Gold mining in South Africa has a good future, but it needs to be nurtured if the country is to reverse its slide down the global gold production ladder, says Harmony Gold CEO Graham Briggs. Gold mining in South Africa actually has got a future. It's, it's got a good future, but it needs to be nurtured. The people in South Africa don't realise how important the gold mining industry still is. The numbers of people that are employed by the gold mining industry, the amount of tax that it pays. Gold mining in South Africa may still have a long and very profitable future. And uh, we should stop dropping down the rankings. You know, we're at number five now, and uh, we must stop this sort of slide. South Africa's National Union of Mine Workers has resolved to take up the cudgels against Anglo-American on behalf of silicosis sufferers. With regard to health and safety, we have noticed that a number of mine workers are being killed as a result of occupational diseases. We will share with you some of the statistics as far back as 2003 where mine workers have, have died due to respiratory uh, uh, illnesses or, um, which affected their lives, such as TB and silicosis. We will support every mine worker, ex-mine worker, who is attempting to take a recourse against mining companies, including the effort of the Anglo-American workers, um, the 18 against Anglo-Gold. An exciting new globally competitive mining era is on the way in South Africa as a result of collective industry effort, says Mineral Resources Director General Sandile Noktina. I can assure you this is going to be a very, very exciting time. I've been uh, uh, going from one jurisdiction to another, uh, uh, looking at the best practices. We first had to go to all the jurisdictions that informed the contents of our current legislation. We then went to first Quebec, and we also went to West Australia. We went to, to, to Queensland also. And remember that those are the jurisdictions that uh, uh, informed the DNA of the, of the current MPRDA. For mining news as it breaks, stay logged on to miningweekly.com and register for our free daily newsletter.